Understanding Genetics in Gynecologic Cancers. Gynecologic cancers are cancers that affect the organs of a woman's reproductive system. They include ovarian and endometrial cancer, among others. Ovarian cancer is an umbrella term used to discuss cancers of the ovaries, fallopian tubes, and peritoneum because all of these cancers behave similarly. Endometrial cancer affects the endometrium, the lining of the uterus. An inherited cancer syndrome is a disorder where changes in genes that can be passed from parent to child cause an increased risk for cancer. Genes provide the instructions to our cells that tell our bodies how to grow and develop. The most common inherited cancer syndromes that cause gynecologic cancers are hereditary breast ovarian cancer syndrome and Lynch syndrome. Some genes protect us from developing cancer. If you have changes or mutations in these genes, cancer may develop. You might inherit a mutation associated with cancer from either one of your parents, just as you might inherit their dimples. Some mutations happen in the cells that create a child, the egg and sperm cells. These are called germline mutations and can be inherited from either your mother or your father. Other mutations can happen in any of the cells except the ones that create a child. These are called somatic mutations. These are not inherited from a parent, but knowing about them can be important for treating cancer. You might have heard that inheriting mutations in the BRCA1 or BRCA2 genes raises your risk of breast and ovarian cancer. Other genes are now known to increase the risk of breast cancer, ovarian cancer, or both. They are part of the syndrome called hereditary breast and ovarian cancer, or HBOC. Having HBOC means your risk of breast and or ovarian cancers is much higher over your lifetime than if you did not have a mutation. The other inherited cancer syndrome strongly associated with gynecologic cancers is Lynch syndrome. It is caused by mutations in any of five different genes. Lynch syndrome increases your risk of colon, ovarian, endometrial, stomach, and other cancers over a lifetime. Both of these inherited cancer syndromes also affect men. For example, men with BRCA mutations have a higher risk of prostate and other cancers. Both men and women can pass the gene mutations for these syndromes to their children, to either daughters or sons. Genetic testing is a way to learn if you have mutations associated with risk for cancer and other diseases. Genetic testing through a medical laboratory is highly accurate and can look for changes in many genes at once. Decisions about genetic testing are complex though and need to be made after being counseled by an expert. A genetics expert is a health professional who works with people who are thinking about having genetic testing. Genetic experts include genetic counselors, nurses, and physicians who have specialized knowledge about inherited cancer risk and genetic testing. They can talk with you about your risk of an inherited cancer syndrome, explain the tests and results, and help you talk with your doctor and your family about what the results mean. Genetic testing for germline mutations is done by sending a small sample of blood or saliva to a laboratory. Your doctor's office receives the results about two to four weeks later. In the past, insurance rarely paid for genetic testing, but today it is more likely to cover the cost. Also, costs are much lower than in the past. Your doctor may also test your tumor for somatic mutations, which can affect treatment choices. This process is different than testing for germline mutations. Genetic counseling and testing is thought of as a process rather than a one-time event. Our knowledge of genetic causes for cancer risk and technology to test for them is changing rapidly. You and your family may receive new cancer diagnoses over time that could lead a genetics expert to think differently about your risk for an inherited cancer syndrome. If you have a germline mutation that causes hereditary breast and ovarian cancer or Lynch syndrome, each of your children has a 50% chance of inheriting it. So do your brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, and cousins from the side of your family with the mutation. 
they should be counseled about genetic testing for the mutation you have. Your doctor or genetics expert can help you explain your test results to your family and tell them how to get counseling for themselves. The cancers that develop from HBOC and Lynch syndrome mutations happen in adults, so children should not be offered testing until at least age 18. At that time, they can decide if they want testing. People who have the mutation can talk with their doctors about options to prevent cancer or options to find it as early as possible. One of the most important benefits of identifying families with inherited cancer syndromes is to help family members who do not have cancer be proactive about managing their cancer risk. Genetic testing helps you as well as your family. Today, doctors use knowledge of genetic mutations to choose the most effective cancer treatments. So genetic testing can help your doctor select the best treatment for you. HARP inhibitors, immunotherapy, and chemotherapy are some of the treatment options available. Better understanding of inherited cancer syndromes has led to improved treatments for ovarian and endometrial cancer. Now, identifying genetic mutations will move doctors closer to finding cures for those with cancer and preventing it altogether in their family members. It is important to talk to a genetics expert about genetic testing.